hello guys uh, so now we shall be discussing about another uh, organ of female reproductive tract that is the vagina so let us discuss what are the import so let us discuss what are the important things that we can discuss with the vagina the first important thing over here you need to know is that uh, the functions there are basically three important functions for vagina the first important function is sexual intercourse sexual intercourse is one function second important function is childbirth okay and the third important function is menstruation Menstru menstruation okay so there are uh, three important functions one is sexual intercourse childbirth as well as menstruation right so menstruation childbirth sexual intercourse these are the three important functions of your uh, vagina now when it comes to the vagina you can see here this green color highlighted part is called as your vagina in front of the vagina you have got a structure and this is called as your bladder all of you know that this is your bladder behind here you have got what this is called as your rectum so anterior to the vagina you have got bladder posterior to the vagina you have got what you have got rectum so let us still uh, discuss what are the structures that are located anteriorly and what are the structures that are located posteriorly so anteriorly what are the structures you have got anteriorly you have got bladder and urethra okay anteriorly you have got what bladder as well as urethra next after that posteriorly what you have got posteriorly what are the structures you have got over here posteriorly you have got a rectum you have got anal canal and third importantly you have got another pouch called as the pouch that is present between uterus and rectum is called as recto uterine pouch recto uterine pouch what do you mean by recto uterine pouch over here see for example uh, this is your urinary bladder like this this is your urinary bladder right now after this urinary bladder here you have got your vagina like this and this is your uterus all the way okay and behind you have got what behind you have got your uh, rectum okay now what i am trying to tell you is that here there is a fold of peritoneum basically we have got a fold of peritoneum that is covering your urinary bladder now this fold of peritoneum covers your urinary bladder it takes a turn and all the way it even covers your vagina as well as the uterus in this way and even it covers your rectum like this okay so here uh, you know that this is urinary bladder this is uterus and this is the rectum now between the urinary bladder and between the uterus between the urinary bladder and between the uterus you see a pouch that is formed over here right you see a pouch that is formed between the urinary bladder as well as the uterus so this pouch is called as vesico uterine pouch vesico in the sense urinary bladder uterine in the sense uterus the pouch between both of them this first pouch number one is called as vesico uterine pouch okay next next important thing is that the pouch that is located between uh, rectum as well as uterus is called as a recto uterine pouch which we have just now discussed this one pouch number two is recto uterine pouch so in the center you have got vagina behind the vagina there is recto uterine pouch so posteriorly what do you have to the vagina you have got recto uterine pouch okay rectum as well as anal canal next laterally what do you have what are the structures that are located laterally laterally what do i have laterally i have got ureters and levator honey muscle ureters as well as levator honey muscle these are the structures that are located uh, laterally okay right uh, if you look at the animation you will understand it completely over here now in this particular picture you can see this is the these are the structures of the female reproductive tract now what are the structures we can which we can look here see this is called as a fundus of the uterus and up here this is called body of the uterus okay and down to the body we have got the vagina this is called as your vagina here next on either sides you have got fallopian tubes these are your fallopian tubes and here you have got ovaries like this right and left ovary clear next down here down here if you see 
there are different structures that are located which are not going to discuss but uh, first what i'm going to discuss is that if you're looking the vagina from the lateral side this is your vagina let us see what are the structures that are located behind it as i've already told you regarding the structures that are located behind this vagina what did i tell you rectum right so let us say that uh, let us say let us put the digestive system over here now you see what is this this is the rectum that is located behind the vagina anteriorly what do you have i told you anteriorly we have got bladder as well as urethra okay so anteriorly we have got what anteriorly we have got bladder as well as your urethra so this is the anterior structures you see this is your urinary bladder and this structure this structure over here is called as your urethra you see this anterior to the vagina what are the structures you have got you have got urethra this tube called as urethra above that you have got the bladder these are the two structures that are located here now not only that laterally what do you have see if this is the vagina over here if this is a vagina over here laterally what do you have what are these structures ureter you have got ureters and not only ureters you even have got another muscle which i cannot show it to you here that is called as elevator ani muscle so these are the structures which you basically see over here in the female reproductive tract okay right so i hope you understood anteriorly what do you have you have got the bladder and urethra posteriorly you have got the rectum anal canal and the recto uterine pouch and laterally you have got the ureters as well as the levator ani muscles now next important thing is that if you look at the blood supply right so if you look at the blood supply first of all you should know that this part over here right this part over here is called as your vagina and above vagina this part over here is called as your uterus okay and uh, this is your ovary you know that this is your ovary and this one over here is called as your fallopian tube fallopian tube okay so this particular artery which i have written over here this particular artery is called as internal iliac artery internal iliac artery this is your internal iliac artery now this internal iliac artery is giving out two branches one is called as uterine artery this is called as uterine artery which supplies to the uterus and the other one is called as a vaginal artery which supplies to the vagina vaginal arteries which supply to the vagina okay and next from the abdominal aorta directly you see a branch that is coming that is called as ovarian artery from where this ovarian artery is coming ovarian artery is a direct branch of abdominal aorta okay which is supplying to the ovary as well as your fallopian tube over here now after this arterial supply is done let us look at what are the different kinds of veins there is only one vein that is called as internal iliac vein internal iliac vein which collects the blood from the vagina and the structure surrounding it now next important thing is that coming to the lymphatic drainage coming to the lymphatic drainage what are the important structures which you would see over here now you basically see three important types of lymph nodes over here okay so what are these three important thing one is called as the superior lymph nodes superior group of lymph nodes right second important thing is your middle group of lymph nodes and the third important thing is your inferior group of lymph nodes superior middle as well as inferior now this superior group right it drains into external iliac nodes so they drain into superior lymphatic vessels right they drain into drain to the external iliac nodes external iliac nodes so they drain where they drain into external iliac nodes next middle they drain to internal iliac nodes internal iliac nodes middle they drain into internal iliac nodes and next important thing the inferior one it drains into superficial inguinal lymph nodes they drain into superficial inguinal nodes they drain into superficial inguinal nodes so how many lymphatic systems you have got the superior vessels the superior lymphatic vessels they drain into the external iliac nodes middle lymphatic vessels they drain into the internal iliac nodes as well as the inferior they drain into the superficial inguinal nodes now one very important pathological condition you need to see over here is regarding the fistula 
fistula is the joining here see this entire part which is shaded with the yellow here is called as your vagina let us see vagina is in contact with what all other structures over here so this is one of the very 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 important part okay so first of all to simplify this picture what we'll do is that we will draw we'll try to replicate this same picture over here you know that here we have got our urinary bladder like this this is our urinary bladder just behind that we have got the urethra uh, sorry this is a vagina and here you have got your what is this this is called as your uterus okay and behind as i have already told you this is the rectum over here so this is your urinary bladder this is your uterus and this one is called as your rectum now first important thing what i want to tell you is that sometimes in a patient there might be a connection that might be developed and this connection is formed between what between the uterus as well as the urinary bladder okay so this kind of connection is called as vesico uterine fistula vesico in the sense urinary bladder uterine in the sense uterus and a connection developed between both of them this is called as vesico uterine fistula so what we will do let us name this as one this fistula is vesico uterine fistula okay next important thing is that sometimes there might also a connection that might be developed with the urinary bladder to the vagina over here all of you know that this particular structure is your vagina this is your vagina so the connection that is developed in between both of this urinary bladder as well as vagina this is called as vesico vaginal fistula vesica means urinary bladder vagina is the vagina so the second important connection is vesico vaginal fistula okay now after this vesico vaginal fistula down to the urinary bladder what do you have yes if this is your urinary bladder urinary bladder is continuing down here as urethra all of you know that it is continuing down as urethra right so what can happen is that there can be a fistula that might be developed between these two structures that is urinary bladder as well as your vagina this is not urinary bladder the urethra as well as your vagina this is called as urethro vaginal fistula okay so that is fistula number 3 that is urethro vaginal fistula and finally we even have got a fistula between the rectum as well as the vagina over here you see between the rectum as well as the vagina also you have got a fistula that is developed this is called as recto fourth important this is called as recto vaginal fistula so how many fistulas are there here four fistulas what is the first fistula name called as first fistula is called as vesico uterine fistula vesico uterine fistula the second important fistula over here is called as vesico vaginal fistula vesico vaginal fistula the third important uh, one over here is called as urethro vaginal fistula and the fourth important thing is called as a recto vaginal fistula recto vaginal fistula so there are four important types of fistulas which you have got over here right so this is all you need to know regarding the vagina guys so thank you so much for watching my video goodbye